Bonjour. Right, first lot of upgrades. It's, uh, okay. It's empty like. Look at this in here, I've got to do something. So when the pond, the grow on was in here, obviously it's just used for storage now, but when the pond um, was in here, the grow on, it was uh, caused a lot of condensation, so it did. So, right, what was it doing? Let's spin your ring. It's operation, get this monstrosity fitted. Look at it, I said before, all the shit in here for the pond. Um, so what I want to do is quickly take some measurements and then I'll meet you down at the filter house and I'll show you where I'm going to put it. But it is, oh God, I've walked into the wall. Um, it's quite the beast. Uh, a lot bigger than I um, anticipated. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, yeah, so let's head down there. Fish are all good. Hey, I'll tan out the window, look, bless it. He's looked such a sack of shit since we had all them problems and the treatments and everybody in there is happy. One of the new ones. The Gagan or Kogan Achiba. Everybody's swimming, no sign of... And the other one's over the back. No sign of issues. So that's the filter shed. So um, thanks to the guys in the forum, in the uh, WhatsApp group, so we're just getting some tips on where best to put it. Look how the old post is splitting already. Screwed up. But the plan is, if I go around the back, so, oh God, doesn't everywhere look shit this time of year. Um, I hate this, but I don't really want to get rid of it because it does hide a corner. There's a shitty old greenhouse and that behind there, but, I was thinking I can, actually I need to take note where the pipes are. Um, if I was to build this out slightly, uh, I need about a 600 mil plinth to put it on. Um, I was thinking about putting the air source heat pump there, but thinking about it now, I'd probably be better off um, coming out the side on the back because then it's directly, when this, um, that yellow thing makes an appearance, um, yeah, it's gonna be south facing, so it's gonna be, uh, most efficient that it can be but because it is such a big unit like myself uh, I need to do some careful measuring so I'm going to go and do that and then when I join you back we'll um, I'll have a bit more of a plan he reckons all right thanks for your patience we're in the old filter shed now so it's lovely in here pond's only 11 soon to be 20 though <laughs> but a filter shed look 18.4 um, which is absolutely fantabulous. Um, it's very, no condensation. So this is my setup I've got at the moment. I do actually hate this. I wish I was in a position now. I will be soon or not soon, in the near future at some point, um, in a position that I can go with me, um, me combi. But for now, there is nothing wrong with this. It's working well, so I've just got to work with it because money don't grow on trees. Um, the heater itself was 80, I think I got it for 1800 quid. I got it on a very good deal, but um, I paid with it with, um, I didn't pay with the credit card. I, I paid cash, but I paid with money that I was expecting, if that makes sense. And it's a big life lesson in it. Wait till you got the money in your hand because long and short of it is, um, the money I thought that was coming to me didn't end up coming to me, so. In hindsight, if I'd known that, I probably wouldn't have bought a heater, but it's here now. Um, yeah, so I've just got to make the best of the situation, but it's left me a little bit short, I've got to say. Um, not just in height, <laughs> in money as well, but yeah, we've got to work with it. So I've got down here, let me spin you around again. Two options, so outlet and nexus, and it'd be very similar, even if I had a combi drum, everything will come to this corner. So I'm just trying to forward think, so that goes into my UV. Now I can, with the drum or the drop-in, I can afford to have the heater before the UV, but ideally I would have it after. So the two options are, there's my return to the pond. I could take it out the side and run it out and then back in, but I have got a lot more room to take the outlet of the Nexus across and then do all my pipe work, my bypass and everything here, plus it'd be more accessible. Um, this is fairly accessible over here, but it is a bit of a pain in the arse. Um, but what I'd probably do as part of it as well is lift this up to probably sort of this height. Um, it's always a bit low, it's a bit of a pain where it is. I catch myself on it and bend down to do anything with it. So yeah, I'm going to leave me the thing. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to have a chat with the wife, see where Mrs. Um, Eden wants it. Because there, obviously, if I go out, Spinaroonie, it's gonna. They said no fucking rain today. Look, 
What's that? It's fucking rain. Um, on the back you saw, but obviously the other option is to put it here, but then it does look shit. But yeah, I'm gonna go in, get a cup of tea and mull it over with the wife. Right, definitely decided on the back of the shed, south facing, and here, I mean, realistically, it's, it's gonna be out here. So you picture that, it's gonna be out here. And it's gonna sit up on there, so it's fucking horrible. It's gotta go on the back. My only problem is, is obviously stopping Evan hitting it. So I'm gonna to have to do a frame and actually um, sort of build it into it somehow he says but that is uh, that's what we've got to fathom out now so really i need um just need to work out how high i've got to come up and then i need to suss out in terms of fence posts and things like that yeah okay i'm doing a little bit of thinking here right leave it with me i found a use for me eater table so you join me i'm in the garage again i'm um, just knocking up some just a bit of form work. I'm just gonna put a little concrete pad in. Right, here we go. So, camellia, a lot of people say they'd love a camellia, and they are, but it's always been the bane of our life. One, it's too big, it's grown out of control. It was here when we moved in, but you get two weeks of beautiful flowers a year, just two weeks, and all it does is just cover your garden in bloody petals. It'd be all right if they stayed on the tree for a few months, but they don't, so first job, I was gonna get the old chainsaw out, it was probably a bit overkill, so. Yeah, just going to get into it, hack it down with a saw. I might try and um, save some of it, but ideally I want it in the sun. Yeah, it source heat pump as much as possible. But yeah, let's get cracking. I like demolition. Got no juice. Had to do it behind. But she's down, drag her down, end of the garden, and we can make a start, can't we? So all I've done now is roughly mark out centre, not of this, but centre of where I want the uh, the base to be, if you like. So working inside. So it's one, two, three. So your pipe work's got to go through about here, roughly. I want it as close to this as possible because there's obviously there's a a, uh, a beam, a beam, an upright in there. So edge of my beam. So I probably want to come across a bit actually, just to make sure. Um, but yeah, time to get a bit of this dug out now. We can put a bit of form work in. Bloody fill her up, isn't it? You can see the mess there. Golly, that's what it's like. A bit of wind, although I've been mucking around with it, but this is what it gets like in the summer. It does me in. Right, less talk, more action. Uh, and here we go. So just very roughly. <laughs> so I just trimmed out the top. So you can see where the frame is gonna sit now. So this will be a box, almost. And then with a set of doors on it, I could chuck a few bits of pond crap in here. And I can also uh, chuck Evan's footballs in here and his little net and things like that. It's quite handy. So next step, got to concrete this up. Gonna go and get the concrete now. I'm hanging out my arse here. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's crack on. Get rid of that first. Give us a shot then, Ev. Right, started knocking up some concrete, based out. You can't see it, but used a load of hardcore, bit of old ballast, bit of tight one. Just put, uh, it's actually a bold pond liner, but it would serve the purpose. I thought I had some tram, but I didn't, but it's just gonna help that slab to stay up and no um, point loading from stones, etc. So yeah, wet this up. Get it in the hole and then knock up another one. So yeah. Just dawned on me actually. If I didn't have to have the air source heat pump, I could have my grow on down here. <laughs> nah. Once them old trees have come down, that'd be for that. Right, crack it on. Morning all. Get this unloaded and then we'll crack on. I left it covered last night. Move the old goal. Didn't realise what a mess I'd made. Let's chuck that over there. Ooh. Oh. Oh look. They got the little little pigeon feet in it. Oh. Gone hard, thank God. Right, we start building the frame. Just doing my measuring. And I've got some help, Ted. 
Where you going? Hey. Hey. Where you go? Huh? <laughs> Honestly, where I go, he goes. But I just wouldn't be without him. We don't, um, yeah, don't feature Ted enough on the channel, to be honest. But he is an absolute stonker, isn't he? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Right, so my base is perfectly flat. But whoever put this bloody wall in, it's got half a centimetre drop this end. It could be settlement, but I blame the idiot that installed it, I do. <laughs> so what I'm gonna have to do is pack out. Um, I think I'm gonna put this in level. Hey, look, it's dog numero two. Uh, what I'm gonna just put this all in level as per the base, and then what I'm gonna have to do is just pack out on the bit once the, um, the top platform goes on. But, uh, what I wanna do is I, these are cock up, actually I made. So if you look, I've got this lovely feature around the edge, but it traps water in here. So I need to come up, um, either need to drill some holes or just make sure that this is sealed um, to stop water going back. Otherwise we're gonna end up with rotting. It's not too bad around here because it's up tight and I can just seal that. It's always been my plan, but I never got around to it. Um, there is a bit, I tell you what, that. So there is a bit of push in there, but nothing that concerns me too greatly. It's concrete behind there, so. Um, yes, I put this in level. I'm gonna go make the frame. I won't uh, subject to, to that boredom. Clyde, are you helping? There's the other one. <laughs> but yeah, right, I'm faffing, I'm procrastinating. I always said this should be called the procrastinating koi keeper. I've got to get on, but I can't be bothered. All right, it just heading up to the shed to start cutting the wood. The koi are on point at the minute. Look at the old Benny Goy and the water. So sturgeon's on the back, right over the back. See little gray bits, the trichodina, where the trichodina was. Causes that dead tissue, that gray in. But, um, hopefully we'll see that disappear now. But yeah, everybody's happy in here. Here's Alan. Alan! Yeah, I'm point this thing's settled in beautifully. Look at the men wear on the head. This is Poirot. <laughs> still looking good with his sumi, still getting darker, seeing that come through. Right, I'm procrastinating it, procrastinating again. All right, there we go. So that's the frame. I've got to stop saying, oh, there we go. It's a bit naff, isn't it? Just chuck me out in there. Uh, so that's the frame. Uh, just got one support to put across the bottom, uh, which I've lost, actually. I don't know where that is. Um, but yeah, so now I've just got to do the top. I don't know how level that's sitting, actually. Should we check? I looked really out of level when I looked at that then. I was about to panic, but no, we're good. We're good. Hard work has been working with the back. So as I said before, whoever put the bloody wall up is an idiot. Um, but yeah, and then it'll have a pair of doors on the front, cladding on the side, uh, make it look pretty. And then Evan can just put all his um, footballs, I can put some of my bigger pots and that out of the um, filter shed in here. But yeah, right, let's go and cut the top. Just gonna use a bit of 25mm ply just to go on top. Um, and that'd be it. We'd be ready to put it up there. Um, wow, getting close. Right, a little bit more work done. Dogs are out here. Mrs. Eden's painting for me, bless her heart. But yeah, so that's the box done. So I've put some of the um, feather edge on it just to tidy it up. And then there'll be two little doors inside obviously with a lock um but yeah that's it now just gonna get the top on that's gonna have to dry for a bit i can get the top on so what i'm gonna do now is just seal across the back quickly um i suppose i should give this a little bit of a paint as well if we're gonna be doing it um but yeah no i'm happy as larry the way that's come out i thought it would look quite intrusive but no it's all right got my belly out Sun's here. 
Right, so that's that. I can't touch that now. So I've done some silicon in. Excuse the colour. It's a CT1, but it's silver for some reason. I'm not quite sure how I've picked that up, but it's very pretty. It's got it's metallic. I don't know if you can see it in the sun. It's got metallic. It's very pretty. I've just literally gone round the sides. It's going to stop any water backtracking, but here I'm going to put um, a bit of feverage either side. <coughs> so I can then seal shit tripping over stuff so I can then seal behind if that makes sense I can then seal behind there and the water's going to run off rather than going into my shitty little gap here actually I might do that now quickly and then paint it that's a good idea isn't it the old Virginia red robin beautiful these are absolutely love them so easy to keep so easy to grow but you just got to keep trim back but that'll have its first trim now but yeah so now I've got to go in the shed hey rat dog how you doing? In here. So, the heater is going to go over in that. It's there, isn't it? It's going to plug into that switch. I don't know what temperature it is. 19 in here. What's the pond water? What does that say? 12 point something. Um, so, what I've got to do is I've got a new switch box. I'm actually going to bring my air pumps over this side because also that's the sunny corner. So there's a lot of heat builds up in that corner. So what I'm gonna do is bring them over here so you can, well, I can feel the temperature difference. So they're gonna come over here, go onto a switch box along with the light. And then I ain't got to fuck around having to switch the plug. So it'd be on a switch for the light rather than a plug. So I'm gonna go and do that now. Cause I can't do anything until I free one of them plugs up. That requires me to build a shelf. God damn. All right, there we go. It's that little shelf put in. I've not screwed it in yet cause I wanna run the wire in. I'm just going to get my little switch box here, I'll show you in a minute. But a nice little tidy job. Only a bit of plywood, bit of sapili, just so they can't roll off. Not a lot different from that one. I'll keep that shelf as handy for putting shite on, because that's what we do in filter sheds, isn't it? We, we gather stuff. Um, yeah, but I'm screwed it down yet. So once it's on, it'll look like that. Two air pumps. I've now got to, a bit worried, because it's a bit hot out there, really. So I think what I'm going to do is go and do something else until a bit later on when it's a bit cooler because the last thing I want to do is cut the air off it. I mean, saying the water temperature is only 12.4, um, but it feels a lot hotter. And plus, I don't want to be doing it in here because in the actual filter shed, it's about 25 degrees now. So, um, yeah, so just got to take them plugs out. They'll plug into the switch box and then that leaves that one completely free. Hey, he's zooming. Sorry, it was blurry there for a minute. Um, so pumps over to the other side, take them. I've got to bring them to here, it's probably as far as their reach. So I've got to put a couple of straight connectors on and then up to the air pumps. And that will be job is a good one. So yeah, the, the pipe and it just run up here along the front and in it goes. I might even drill it from below actually so it comes around and up. We'll see. Just a little FYI moment. If you see these, I've got this one on eBay for Aqua, the Aqua or Dabra, whatever it's called. If you ever see these, avoid them like plague. I'm not even going to use it. Terminals are so close together and tiny. I don't know if I had to use my finger for scale. Honestly, they're rated for five amp. You'd be absolutely lucky if you get a fucking hair in there. Absolute shit and be going back. It's annoying. So I quite like the switch box. It's always nice to flick a switch in it. Look at a mess. The shelf fell down. Everything went on it. Fuck's sake. Right, I never thought a Blagden box would actually save my bacon, but for now it has until something more appropriate comes along. So now I'm desperate. So because of that crappy thing, um, I'm way behind. Air's been off. Dinner's nearly ready and I want to be done for the day. I can't be asked to do anything else. I need to clean up this absolute shit tip. So, uh, yes, so I've just got the blowtorch so I can burn some of the lines on um, just to get them a bit more malleable or flexible. Uh, I'm hoping that there's a couple of straight connectors in that box. Um, my God, this is down to the wire, but look. It's like a mill pond. Lovely and clean. <laughs> so just connecting the wires up, tape them to this corner, and then 90 degree, and then up to the pumps. I can't be arsed. I mean, one of the lines goes all the way around to the, the pond, and I certainly don't want to be doing that. So, 
just connected them via a 90 degree, see one there. Cable tie, job is a good one. Right, it's probably a bit noisy. That's that bodged for tonight. They're up on their new shelf. I ain't got nowhere near as much done as I was hoping to do. Um, but yeah, such is life, isn't it? Do that, there we go. So air pumps are running. What I do need to do is I had, like I say, I know no straight connectors, so I really need to tidy this up. And then I can tidy up all the um, Ujima flaps then as well. But I hate working with this air pipe. Some of it's all right. The Nexus stuff's lovely, isn't it? Look, big and thick. But yeah, such as life. There we go, right. It's getting dark outside. It probably don't show on the phone. The sun's gone down. I'm knackered. I'll uh, see you in the morning. Right, just had a look on the old dog and bone. And I won't see you in the morning. I think what I'll do is I'll see you on the next video. So we're up to about 20 minutes long now, so. I'll tidy up all this mess. I'm just gonna give the old fish some food before bed. And uh, yeah, we'll carry on on the next one. So by the time we get to the next one, we'll actually be installing something which would be good. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you soon.